Okay, third, fourth, and now look at that. Look at that blue bar down there. Like it's slowly depleting. And giving me that extra juice. And about, yeah, extra acceleration, that turbo boost. Putting the pressure up to the max, see that? On your left. Oh, the needle goes up Clear to left. five bar. Bam! That's such an OP left measure side. here. Clear left. When Formula One races this weekend at the Red Bull Ring in Spielberg, it does so on a highly modern, very safe and pretty short circuit. In highly modern, very safe and quite long cars which, due to their seemingly infinite downforce traction and grip, enable nanometer accurate driving. In 1986, things looked a little different. It's the heyday of the first turbo era. The drivers sit in erratic 600 kilograms, 1200 plus brake horsepower predators, humbly welcoming every ounce of traction they are granted and happy if they can make it to the finish line in one piece. The circuit for its part is still called Österreich Ring. With almost six kilometers, it was not only a good third longer than today's version, but also faster. The 1986 Österreich Ring was a brutal, high-speed track whose extensive absence of runoff zones and safety measures ultimately led to the track being banned from the F1 calendar from 1988. To the astonishment of motorsports experts, in the 1986 Austrian GP, Theo Fabi took pole with a 123.5 or an average speed of 256 km per hour. Gerhard Berger qualified second, giving the fledging Benetton team its first exclusive front row. The great rivals for the World Championship, however, Post, Mansell, Piquet and Senna were only on rows 3 and 4, while the latter three, as well as 12 more cars retired, Alain Post won that race, thus closing down the gap in the championship to Mansell to only two points. Today I'm sitting in the legendary Lotus 98T of Johnny Dumfries, Ayrton Senna's teammate at the time, and am doing this historic Grand Prix as a sort of sprint race, with 17 instead of 52 laps, and including authentic date, weather, and driver field with an accurate custom okay, AI. Okay, first gear in. P10, here green, we go. Green, green. Oh, Streif. Oh. Man, he was so slow up, up the line. Oh, and I'm snapping. Mm, mm. That was lucky. Oh, Senna spawn. Senna spawn, look at the other way. Okay, third, fourth, and now look at that. Look at that blue bar down there. Like it's slowly depleting and giving me that extra juice. And about, yeah, extra acceleration, that turbo boost, putting the pressure up to the max, see that? Oh, the needle goes up Clear to left. five bar. Bam! Right. That's such an OP left measure right. here. Clear left. I mean, it's okay for me. It's only... Ah! Yeah. Just a pity that, obviously, the AI doesn't use it. But guys, you, you tell me, I'm, I'm really curious. Was this boost button uh, in these cars in real life and were they allowed to use it um, at their own parts content or were there any regulations or limitations? Okay, I'm a bit pressurized here by Alboreto. Oh, I had to back off again, man. But with a little help of... Focus. The boost Be button. Focused. I'm able to pull away again. Oh, big trouble there for Anu. Ah, come on. Ah, again, Timo, come on. Ah. Now, pull on the throttle. And now I'm 
hitting the boost button. Problem is just that I have to use my right hand to constantly press that button, hold it, and steer with one hand. But it's not that easy. Because I'm, I'm using a 270 millimeter uh, wheel rim without any buttons on it. But okay, who am I to complain when I'm able to overtake three guys <laughs> on one straight? For whatever reason, this track only allows 20 cars. And this is a bit of a pity because for that reason I had to tweak the custom AI, throw out some of the lower drivers to make sure that the past ones like Mansell, Senna, Post, Fabi, Berger, PK are in there. That's what I know. They weren't allowed to refuel, so they always had to manage that and that led to some yeah, pretty curious races where in the beginning some cars were seemingly OP and in the last third or so they lost 5-6 se seconds per lap due to them saving fuel. Okay, first look here on Allah. Come on. So now Allah. Right side. No Clear problem. Right. No problem. Nice front. Oh, that corner is really difficult. I'm, I'm always, uh, I'm not really confident with that one. And this is the complex that is still there today. Almost, almost unchanged. Although the corner radii vary between the old version and the new one. Boost up, boost up. Your brake temperatures are really high, mate. They're cooking. That's a new fastest lap for Mansell, 127.86. Yep. That's already almost two seconds faster than Vegas. Real life time. And let's see if Senna, who spun there in the first corner here in that chicane, uh, if he's able to to regain places, because on, on the paper, I, th I think the lotus Senna combination here is the fastest. Okay, now, let out 300, 20, 30, 40, 50, yeah. Hard on the brakes. Yeah, let me tell you what, guys. One secret of these cars and their setups is the brake pressure. Don't set it too high. That's all I can say. Well, and... When racing, it's all about, yeah, managing the boost, the engine, the tires, fuel, yeah, Fastest if necessary. Mansell, okay. I should be able to do that, actually. Yeah, but I'm really not gaining anything on Mansell, on the contrary. So is this going to be a pretty lonely race there? Really not sure about that corner. Don't trust it.
Yeah, that's good. But is it enough to gain on Mansell? That's the question. The lap for uh -huh. Mansell, He's putting in fastest lap after fastest lap. Unbelievable. Come on. That's the fastest lap yeah. of the race. What time? I'm currently third on the global leaderboard with a 123.1, I think. Is hot. Um, still, more than two seconds behind the guy in first who did a 120.8 or 9 or so. Unbelievable. Blistering time. Wow. Really. In the Lotus. So in my case, I can match or beat the real-life 1986 pole time. See him line away on your left rear. But there are, of course, certain limitations uh, when you're going into race mode. The gap to Frost behind is now 5.7. That lap was a... 27.66. Now that's... Yeah. On Mansell's level, but it's not... Ah, it's not significantly faster, and that's the problem. I'm not gaining anything. It's pretty stable, around 8, 8.5 seconds. But that's not enough for putting him under pressure. Tires shouldn't be a concern here. One of those tracks that is not so bad on the tires. And it's it's really a blast driving these cars here. The more I do it, the more I get confident taming these predators. I know. Fastest lap for your lap time was 126.14. Okay, good. The chase is on. Seven point six. Oh, yeah, that's the limit. That's the limit. Couldn't hit that boost button any earlier. Cap to Mansell ahead is now six point eight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 Timo, Timo, Timo. Talking about limits. But imagine, without that chicane, which more or less forces you to go down to second, I think and on the old version, where there was just a right, super fast right bend, it, instead of the chicane. Ah, ah, no. Let's use the escape route. Hey, excuse me, how fast was that? I mean, there wasn't any corner. Where you 
would have to go lower than third and about, yeah, what is it, 150k or so. Insane, insane, insane. Oh, Timo, too many mistakes in too short time. Come on, we're throwing it away. Lost three seconds, four seconds there. Come on. Concentrate. You've got a bit of tire wear on all your tires. I don't care, I'm pushing. Yeah. Oh. 9.1 And regarding the fact that the AI especially Mansell and Senna, who is also darn fast, are not using the boost. Well, and I'm only on, what is it, 105 skill level? Wow. They're pretty good. Come on. There he is. Now breaking for the chicane. Yeah, I'm 8.7 seconds behind. Come on. Tight, nah. Tight, smooth, consistent. Seven more laps to go. But no pressure from behind. Look at these gaps. Completely different scenario than what you're seeing today in F1. Left rear tire looks a little hot. Oh, come on. He's still so far away. Lost a whole second there. Yeah, it doesn't help me. Not gaining <laughs> quick enough. The gap to Frost behind is increasing. It's now 17 seconds. Wow. Wow. Senna in 10 now. Slowly fighting his way back. Wouldn't be surprised if... He put in the fastest lap, or will put in, it's going to put in the fastest lap, now in ninth. The gap to Mansell in front is now 7.5 seconds. Yeah, this is where I'm stronger, it's the first half. Five more laps. Your last lap time was at one twenty six point four four. Come on.
Oh, that's so much. Wow. Yeah. Oversteering moment. Ah, I think the, the tires have seen their best times. Ah. It's almost getting impossible to further close down on Mansell, unless he does a mistake. Hmm. Yeah, okay. More pushing apparently leads to more mistakes. It's not that, that I'm giving up, but let's be sensible. It's P2 at the moment. Frost is getting closer. The gap's come down to 17 seconds. We've had that before, Jim. Thirteen seconds, yeah. Yeah. Tires becoming an issue. Interesting. Didn't expect that. What about back markers and lappings? Look at that, Beggar in 10th is already 1.3 seconds behind. Huge differences here, wow. I think I'd be well advised to maintain my position and bring the car home. Don't stand a chance against Nigel here. Okay, Timo, you're reeling. Mansell in the gap is. Uh, not really, Jim. Seconds. Not really. It's only because he had to cope with the back marker, I guess. Yeah. I can feel the tires' um, performance wane. But that's okay, I mean... I won't complain about P2 and... an AI driver being a bit better than me. Looking good for a podium. That lap was at 127.32. Sector 3 is 0.7 off the pace. But it's also now crystal clear to me that I wouldn't be able to do a whole distance, 52 laps, on one set of tires. Perhaps 30 laps, 35, but not 52. I mean, with initial boost only on 60%, this car is... Yeah, it's pretty manageable. It's not that ferocious. As on higher values, but of course, for a race, you will have to go down to spare your engine. Where? It's now on seven, that's absolutely okay. Goodness. Ah. Oh. Nice one, Timo. Great drive. That 
Guys, I really like these challenges. Putting the AI on a level that really demands me to, to concentrate and get close to my limit. Limit being driving still somewhat fast while commentating, of course. And I think this one's turned out pretty well. Here now, Mansell won 14.4 seconds ahead of me. Anna Prost in third. Rene Anu in the Lige, fourth, PK fifth, and Senna in sixth. And look at Senna's best time, a 126.4. That's way faster than anyone else in the AI field. I put in the fastest lap, 126.1, but that was a one of a time lap. Most of the other ones were around 27s. And as I said, I weren't able to push anymore on the last five, six laps. Let's quickly go through the list. So Senna would have achieved the last championship point. And it's Philipp Ayo, Derek Warwick, Theo Fabi and Gerd Berger, who in real life were in the first row after qualifying. Alvoreto in the Ferrari. Yeah, the Ferraris weren't not really up to pace uh, in that season. Philipp Streif, Ricardo Patrese, De Cesaris Brundle, Tom Bay, Osberg in the second, McLaren only in 17th. Okay, and these three guys only one lap down. Jones, Nanini and Johansson. All right, guys, that was it. My little recreation of a sort of sprint race with the F Classic Gen 1 class, aka Formula 1 1986 at Historic Spielberg. I hope you liked it. Have a good time. See you on the next one. Bye bye.